Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I post every day, bringing you the latest updated tale reading. In this reading, we're going to find out the person on your mind, do they truly love you? Today is the 25th of February, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 7.34 a.m. Okay, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, the person on Virgo's mind right now. Do they truly love Virgo? Think about the person you'd like to know, Virgo. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. This person was on your mind. Justice. Three cups at the bottom of the deck. Now I see two two versions here. Okay, Virgo. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna start with the first first one. Justice. It's a major kind of so it's a yes. Actually, it's yes to both. Okay, whether um, for some of you. Okay, the second version will be if you're in a third party situation. The first version is if there is no third party. Um, the justice says yes. Okay. Because also we've got the Knight of Cups right here. Knight of Cups is the Knight of Love. So it's another yes. However, we've got the star here in our verse and the moon. Hmm. See, three of wands. For the second version, if your person um, have you involved between you and somebody else, the party situation because there's a queen of wands right here in my verse i would say that because there's also three of cups they do love you okay the justice and the knight of cups but there's something they're dissatisfied about okay nine of cups in my verse so they may not be completely fulfilled or satisfied with um the current connection that you have with this person the person who is on your mind right now okay hence the third party is in the picture now the third party is what um it's like an add-on i hope that makes sense like an add-on to um what's that word again to kind of complete their it's like they're dissatisfied, so there's something missing because the Nine of Cups is not ten, so it's not perfect. So there's something like they, they aren't completely fully sac um, satisfied with, okay? So that's why the third party is introduced into your connection. That's why this could be a third party situation. That's just for some of you. If you do know you are in a third party situation, don't freak out, okay? I'm not saying that your person is having an affair or anything like that if you truly know that your person isn't doing that okay so again there are two versions the first one is um the first version is that person whom um actually i feel like the first version yeah the person does love you does truly love you but there is something that is kind of challenging because we've got the five pentacles numbers something else that's getting in the way so the three of wands and the moon the moon indicates deep emotions so for some of you this person may have more feelings for you than they let on okay the three of wands is them also um maybe right next to the moon like a little bit unsure uncertain about the future um they don't know if both of you um the the con how would the feelings yeah because the cups indicates feelings so they're not sure if you feel the same way for them okay so all of, maybe these doubts or it could be distance three of wands could be 
coming in between the two of you. Um, but they do, they do truly love you. But, you know, there's something that is not complete here again. And five pentacles and one verse. They find it kind of challenging. Um, and the queen of wands here is in love first. And it feels like especially if you haven't really shown much interest or you have been ignoring them. Perhaps this is somebody that whom you could be kind of going through some issues with. If there are no issues, Virgo, between you and this person on your mind and you just want to know if they truly love you, I would say the answer is yes, but sometimes they can be kind of confused with the moon here or um, wondering if they're how the future would be how would they feel for you in the future how would you feel about them in the future okay um and it's it's not it's not a big deal okay i feel especially if this is somebody you are if there are no issues and if it's like kind of new okay but for those of you again in a third party situation the six of wands in one verse the will of fortune in reverse they may love you love they may actually do love you but they don't feel appreciated or that that they don't feel respected they don't feel good about themselves you know this scenario kind of reminded me of how sometimes or it could, could be men or women doesn't matter like someone that this a person may feel as though like they are underappreciated so or that they feel like a loser they don't feel like they're as successful especially when if their partner is successful more successful than them and the partner is busy all the time and they find an opportunity to go and cheat okay that's for some of you or you know introduce the party into their life uh, into this connection now three of cups for those of you in a relatively new connection and if everything is going well, I do see them um, I do see them truly love you, but somehow they aren't too sure if you truly love them, okay? Not a cups, a person could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be Libra, could be Fire Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay, let's see more, Virgo. Let's see more. See, you got the sun here. So it's a yes. Five of Wands in one first. It feels like that energy, Virgo. Um, I do truly love Virgo. But there is a but, okay. Um, and the knight is not a king. So the king is older than the knight, right? So I would say that... They maybe could be on their way to becoming the king of cups, meaning really loving you more. But the moon here, there's, there are some uncertainties where they feel like they might have to kind of hold back um, in regards to like, in regards to actually truly taking actions towards materializing this connection into a whether it's a full commitment or a marriage or moving together, okay? Hope that makes sense. Hangman is right here. And then Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you, person on your mind, it could be a Virgo Capcom Taurus. Hmm. Now, I'm looking at the Pentacles and they are in reverse, okay? So it either could mean this, um, your person may truly love you, have romantic emotions for you, but to fully, fully commit, that's like another thing, right? I see them not really want to like invest everything yet, okay, into this connection. Um, if you're separated from this person, I do see them still having emotions for you, but they want to keep it like to themselves because the moon indicates secret so they may secretly be still in love with you um but you know like the three of wands they could be thinking about the future in regards to 
either returning or reconciling, but then at the same time, there are doubts in regards of how this is going to actually work out if both of you are separated. See, now I'm seeing like a few already different groups of you, different versions. Just take what resonates with you. And the reason why I read it this way, it's because it's I understand it's a general reading. So it's impossible for each and every one of you to completely resonate with it. That's why I always give you different versions. However, if you want a personal reading um, that is tailor me just for you and you alone, not for the masses, you can send me an email. You can book me. All of the information is in the description box below. Okay, Virgo, I just saw 1010. Check out your angel number. If you want to, you can go ahead and Google it, 1010 angel number. There could be some other important messages for you over there. Okay, Virgo. Now, I'm trying to give you all the scenarios that are possible on the spread here. Now, again, for those of you Virgos, if you are separated from your person and if you wonder if this person you're separated from truly loves you, I would say it's a yes. Okay, it's a yes. It's a yes. But I don't see them actually, you know, wanting to tell you that. Okay, they don't really want to let you know they do daydream about it um, and they may not be able to also give you the commitment that you want or whatever that you want um, right now at this moment okay but the love is there and then the, the another group of you Virgo if you are in a third party situation and you wander and you do know your person is currently dealing with someone cheating or whatever um, and you wonder if they truly look does love it they actually do in a weird twisted way but I just feel like they're not completely satisfied with this connection um, and that may have led them to getting attention elsewhere okay and for those of you in a kind of new relationship or this somebody it's some it's if this is somebody who is relatively new in your life um, I would say that they do catch, they have caught some feelings for you, but they may have doubts in regards to the future, right? And the sun here, they do see you in, in a very positive manner, and the will of fortune here is in reverse. For some of you, even though this is a new connection, it could be their own insecurities or fear or anything else that's coming in between. The two of you could be the distance, okay? Three of wands here, it could be money. Um, you know that there, there is also one energy here that I'm picking up on Virgo that perhaps the person in your mind may feel like they're not actually good enough for you. The love is there, they're, they're being genuine towards you, but they may not feel like on top of the world about the situation. Either it's because you are um, like there's something they haven't achieved yet that they feel maybe you've already achieved, okay. And that makes them feel very insecure. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. Again, I've already mentioned it. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. There are many different options. Um, you can book me for a live video call reading or two to three days emergency reading. Um, that's pre-recorded. It's still the same actually. It's still very accurate. A lot of people tell me that I'm very accurate. So um, in any case, if you would like to yeah, book me, you can either email me or book me through Linktree. And uh, what else? Yeah, and I post your videos every single day. So click on the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time when I post your videos. And for those of you who are unaware that I do have a main channel, it's it's called Chelsea Love Tarot. Um, you can go ahead and subscribe to that channel as well because I go live on that channel and also I post weekly prediction readings. Sometimes I'm a little late, but you know, on that channel mostly I go live. All right, take care, Virgo. I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Love you. Bye.